With the NFL Draft officially in the books, it is time to start looking at some risers and fallers in fantasy football. There's one guy specifically who I think has seen a massive value rise in both Dynasty Leagues and in redraft leagues. And I am talking about Kyler Murray. Now this guy is already an elite dual threat quarterback. I'm not telling you anything that you don't already know, but it's time to start looking at him as possibly one of those top tier guys up there with uh, Lamar Jackson and Josh Allen. He is set up for a monstrous breakout after already putting together some really good seasons here. I'm Dave Kluge with Football Guys, and I am here to break this down a little bit for you. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube page. You can find that at youtube.com slash footballguys. We bring you these short videos every single day throughout the offseason. You can also find all of our full-length shows there as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at Kyler Murray. It looks like right now the Cardinals are doing whatever they can to appease Kyler Murray. Now, you probably remember just about a, a month ago or so, there were rumors that he was going to potentially hold out, that he might go pursue a career in baseball. Well, the Cardinals don't want to see that happen, and it seems like they are doing whatever they can to keep this man happy. And they did that by going out on draft night, on Thursday night, and trading one of their first round picks to acquire Marquise Brown. Now, Marquise Brown might not be the splashiest name, but we need to remember that when this guy came into the league, he was coming off of a list break surgery, which does take a long time to heal from. Recently, he has been completely healthy and has looked really, really good. In the 11 games that he played last year with Lamar Jackson and Mark Andrews, he actually out-targeted, had more receiving yards, and had more touchdowns than Mark Andrews. He averaged 16.7 points per game in those games, which would have been good for wide receiver nine overall. So Marquise Brown now is finally getting to the point where that injury is behind him. And for those that don't remember, Marquise Brown and Kyler Murray played together in college and they didn't just play together. They absolutely smashed the competition together in 2018. The final year that they played together, uh, Marquise Brown was eighth overall in receiving yards among the entire NCAA. He had 1,318 receiving yards and 10 touchdowns before he went on to get drafted in the first round in the NFL draft. So linking these up, these two back up together is something that we've seen a lot of teams doing recently. We saw it with Trevor Lawrence and Travis, Travis Etienne. We saw it with Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase. We saw it just this offseason when uh, the, the Las Vegas Raiders traded for Devontae Adams to link him back up with Derek Carr. This is a trend that we see a lot of teams going with recently, and it's going to be really interesting to see the results. But one thing is for sure, certain, the quarterbacks love it. So this is good news for Kyler Murray. Now, I haven't even talked about Trey McBride yet. I was lucky enough to meet this kid at his Pro Bowl, and he is going to be an absolute star. He was the first tight end drafted off the board. And while I'm not expecting immediate results for him, we know how hard it is to adapt to a tight end role at the NFL level. I love this landing spot for him. He's a younger and more athletic version of Zach Ertz, and he should develop very nicely behind him. I love when rookie tight ends land in a spot where they don't need to do a ton right out the gate. McBride isn't huge for a tight end. He relies on his speed and athleticism, so it's going to take him a little while to learn NFL coverages and get up to speed. He's not going to be able to step in like Kyle Pitts did last year and dominate as a rookie. So him getting to sit behind Zach Ertz is going to be crucial for his development, and I absolutely love it. Overall, like I said, this team is showing a major commitment to Kyler Murray, and it should help him take another step forward as a passer. We know he's got the rushing upside, and now it's not crazy to think that he cracks 4,500 yards as a passer this year. Looking at this depth chart is just insane. We've got Kyler Murray at quarterback, and he is going to be throwing passes to Marquise Brown, DeAndre Hopkins, A.J. Green, Rondale Moore. He's got James Conner coming out of the backfield, and then Zach Ertz and Trey McBride as tight ends. Obviously, Hopkins is suspended at the beginning of the season, and that is pretty tough to overlook. That being said, he is going to be back for the playoffs, and Kyler Murray is going to have a stable of more than capable pass catchers to throw the ball to. Right now, I think that you should be looking at Kyler Murray as a top three to top five quarterback, but at the least, he shouldn't be outside of your second tier. Right now on underdog, he's getting drafted as the quarterback six off the board in the late fourth and early fifth round. I am absolutely smashing at that ADP. I'm going to be looking at him as a top three quarterback, and I think you should too. So if you're able to get him in the fourth or the fifth round, do that without thinking twice. Unless his ADP creeps all the way into the third round, I am 100% in on Kyler Murray this season.